Do you have a S8 and upwards? Well, if you haven't used Samsung DeX just yet, we are going to take a deep dive into it in this session. So make sure you do not go anywhere. Hello to you and welcome to MMB Tech TV, helping you find affordable products faster. Well, if you haven't been here before, my name is Ryan and if you want to keep up to date with all things tech, all you need to do is make sure that you hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. So in today's episode, we are covering a great feature that is hidden within the Samsung S8 and above range. If you haven't used it yet, that is Samsung DeX. So the beauty about Samsung DeX is, is that it turns your smartphone into a portable laptop. So if you own one of these, I've got the S10 Plus. Uh, right here and this essentially turns into a modern kind of desktop feeling experience so what I thought I'd do is for one week I did a test where I ditched my MacBook Pro got rid of that and see if I could can generally carry out my day-to-day -day duties just using the Samsung phone on its own and believe it or not I was really really impressed so what we're going to do through this session is take you through some of the bits that you need have a look at the desktop setup as well and just show you how simple it is that you could easily ditch that and then move into just using this simple platform so to do it all you would need is one of these is so you can either have a USB-C uh, to HDMI which would connect into the monitor or what I've got here is a hub which has uh, two USB outlets you've got uh, your HDMI lead just on there um, and a load of other different accessories and stuff which means literally I can plug into here a mouse a keyboard an external hard drive and the extension into the monitor which means literally I could go in plug my phone into there and it just turns it all into this big desktop experience which is just it's phenomenal it's built into the device it's there it's free it's part of the phone uh, so to do it all you would need is this so before I connect it into the device on my setup today uh, I've got a wired mouse uh, normally I would use a wired keyboard however I've not got that with me today um, but then there is additional power which I'm going to be using to drive this and some of the power through the monitor I'm doing that through USB-C uh, and then of course the HDMI cable so let's go ahead and connect all them up now so I'm going to plug in my HDMI I'm going to give it some power and then just for the purposes of today I've got a wired mouse uh, but what you can do is if you haven't got a wired mouse or keyboard they do accept Bluetooth uh, keyboard and mouse as well which is great which makes it even more portable so if you've got a little a mini monitor and you can take it around with you it just makes it really accessible meaning you can work on the go uh, now all of that is plugged in uh, what we need to do is plug the device in so let's get my Samsung let's have a look so here it is and then all you need to do is as simple as plugging it into the bottom so the Samsung DeX logo is done it's loaded up and now you're brought into what looks really familiar so if you're really familiar to things like uh, Google Chrome or even it's kind of a similar window cell you're presented with this option here now the beauty about Samsung DeX is as I mentioned earlier I haven't got a keyboard with me at the moment but you can tell Samsung DeX to use your phone as a keyboard or a trackpad so it's not too bad if you've got one or the other or you just want to do a couple of bits and bobs you do get a better experience using a full keyboard and mouse However, just for this, I'm showing you through, it's another option that it gives you. So uh, looking at the desktop, um, here you can see a general layout. Here you can put short icons and quick kind of little bits to help you, uh, like little desktop shortcuts and stuff, just like you can on a Windows laptop. Um, you have all them there. So on mine, for example, you've got where it's files, internet, emails are on there, my gallery, uh, and of course, Google Chrome. Now, Google Chrome on this is a bit of a godsend, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. Uh, so coming down at the bottom, you've got your DeX logo just down here, which again, you can lock the screen so if you work in a work environment uh, and you may have sensitive information maybe GDPR compliant um, you, and of course you need to lock your screen before you walk away and um, you've got that option there just like you would on a normal laptop coming onto these little dots just here you click that and then this will bring up your app drawer so all the apps that you have on your device are now found here now some of them may not appear because they may not be compatible with Samsung DeX but I'll probably say from my personal experience 90% of them are actually still on there so a lot of the ones that I use on a day-to-day -day basis are things like the office 365 environment so things like word PowerPoint Excel uh, Microsoft Teams 
I use quite a bit, um, they all have apps and they all work on here. So you'll go through, these are all my apps that I've got on my personal side here. Some of them are very childish, like baby TV. I've got a one year old, that's why that's there, it's not for me. Uh, you can see I've got on my Dropbox, um, Evernote. Evernote is a great app if you haven't used it, use it. It's, uh, it helps me in my work environment. Um, and this is where literally all your apps live. So in order for me to kind of go from using a laptop to using this um, was really simple, I found, because um, all the apps in there will convert, they will change over, so they become more of a desktop environment based kind of app and give you that a more of a desktop feel, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to touch on something that Samsung DeX do in order for all that to happen in a second. So literally, all, this is where all of your main apps will live just there. Now, remembering it is just a smartphone that's powering all this. So you will get some of the same features. So just like this one, for example, uh, you can see here, these are the apps that I had opened up before. So I've had LinkedIn, WhatsApp, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but then, of course, if you want to get to your desktop view really quickly, you've got your home button just there, which will then take you straight into the home. In the corners, just down here, uh, you've got all your commands here. These are the different sections, like for example here, this one's telling it that it's Samsung Dex that, that's being powered. I generally tend to ignore them. There's not a lot you need to do with these. Uh, over here is your main control center, so things like, uh, you can see I'm connected to uh, my Wi-Fi, uh, your normal stuff. This is like your slide down menu at your top of your phone, so perhaps if you need to connect onto a local Wi-Fi, uh, that's what would be in there. Uh, moving on to your next bit, Samsung, this is Samsung Dex Labs. Now what Samsung's Dex Labs does is, like I mentioned earlier, about 90% of the apps do work on the device in this kind of Dex environment. But in order for them to work correctly, Samsung Dex kind of tells the app that it's a desktop environment and tries to force it into some sort of desktop based app, all right? Now, I will warn you, most of the apps do tend to work, um, but they, or they may just appear in a weird way. So Samsung Dex tries to encourage it or tries to tell it to load into this certain manner in order for it to work correctly. Most of the apps do work, some of them don't, um, so just be aware of that. So when you do load some apps up, it does look like you've just loaded it on your smartphone. That's because they're not worked with that uh, that Samsung Labs experience, uh, which some of them may be coming, because Dex is just getting better and better every year it's out. Um, I've noticed there's been a massive improvement on it year on year, um, so it may be something that uh, will be enhanced in the next kind of uh, release of it. But um, that's a great partnership. It's, I'd probably say it's a really good tool to have in terms of having Samsung Dex. It helps it to really work. Uh, and then of course in the corners just here, you've got all your little simple gestures. So like here, for example, um, I was instructing it to use my, my phone as a keyboard. Um, so that will help to control there. Then you can control your sound, so you can either have the sound coming out of your device, or if your monitor does have speakers, you can encourage it to come out of there, which is always good. Um, and then you can screenshot on all the kind of other bits and bobs. Um, so let's take a look at how some of the apps generally look um, when you go through Samsung Dex. So going on to my app drawer then. So some of the ones that I generally used, I went on to Twitter, um, I, I used all the office suites. So for example, let's go on to say Word again. So I'm going to load up Microsoft Word. You can see that it's booted up in its native app, there it is. And then you've got your documents just at the side and you can still then go through and edit and amend and change documents just using the app like you normally would. And it's the same for all of the others that are in there. This is what makes it really accessible and really, really good for kind of keeping a business moving. So for example, even Excel, you know, there we are, I'll open Excel. And again, it looks really familiar. Now, the good thing about it is that you can have up to five apps open live at any one point on the screen. After five, if you go to open a sixth app or you have a sixth program that's open, it will force the first one that you open out or the oldest one that's been open, it will force that to close. So it's a bit of a bug, but perhaps because it is just a phone that's powering it at the end of the day. So you can only run five apps at any one time and then it will shut it off all in the background. So you can still have some of them really popular big apps that you know, that you kind of know and love and the ones that you generally work with on a day to day. So I normally found that I would normally have um, my emails open. I would normally have Word, usually uh, Chrome, I would have operating in the background. Microsoft Teams um, is usually open. Evernote, I, I normally have them. They're normally my big five. So anything on top of that would eliminate one of those older ones. Doesn't mean they close it entirely. You can still 
will use uh, your buttons just at the bottom just there to then go back to it really really quickly but in terms of going onto your desktop you can only have five live apps open at the same time um, but Google Chrome on uh, Samsung Dex is a I would say in this environment is a bit of a godsend because it has this little built-in tool that will help you massively if you're using this Samsung Dex experience as a kind of main work device. So let's go on to Google Chrome for a second. Let's go into it and have a look. So here we are, I'm on my YouTube page just here, or this is my sister channel. This is where I actually work. This is my daytime job where I work. Go and check them out, uh, youtube.com forward slash chess ICT. Uh, go and have a look. Some of the content's on there we're doing is fab. Go and have a look. Um, but you'll see at the moment it's loaded up as a normal desktop website. But what some sites do will load it as a mobile site because it still detects that it is a mobile phone. But what you can do is in the corner just there, you can tap on the little icons and you'll see where it says desktop site. If you click there, it will then refresh that page as a desktop site. So perhaps if you need to edit things like uh, Google Docs um, or any of the kind of the Google kind of online applications, normally don't work when you just use them kind of natively on the mobile app, but you can just literally click that and it will then put it into that desktop mode like you normally would when you use the device, which then just makes this whole experience even better. One, another one, a great example, um, is Wix the uh, mobile web creator so if perhaps if you have a Wix site uh, so I want to go onto my Wix site there for example and it's trying to load it now in um, mobile mode you can see it you can see that it's trying to load it into this mobile site but however again if I go on them dots in the corner click on desktop site and there we go it's forcing me now into my desktop experience so again you can even then edit wix websites and um, you can there's loads of stuff that little button will help you massively if you use samsung dex so it is definitely worth a go it's definitely worth something now there is a downside to using this device or using samsung dex should i say i would I would probably say 100% I would commit to using it because I have been doing, I normally have a MacBook Pro and that I use at work to do things like video editing and all that kind of stuff. Um, predominantly, I have just been using this because everything that I do in my work environment is all Office 365 based. So I use things like I use things like uh, uh, OneDrive, I use Google Drive, um, things like Creative Cloud by Adobe, I use all that. But the biggest downfall on here is the video editing. I would say if you're looking at doing basic chop and edit stuff, you know, kind of clip here, clip there, put it together, um, then you can use things like Adobe Rush um, and a few other video editing apps that are out there. You can use them, but they're just, it's just not as powerful. It's just not as good. So I do find that I can do everything else, but when it just comes to editing, I do have to have my MacBook Pro out, which is just a real shame because otherwise I would have just used my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. That is how much I actually believe in the whole Samsung Dex experience. So overall, what do I think of Samsung Dex? What's the big thing about it? I genuinely think it is a great piece of kit. If you work on the road or you need to do kind of quick office based stuff, this is perfect. I personally think this is changing the on, this is just changing everything on how we work and if you think now what is inside these devices so even in, if you look at the uh, Note 10 what the processing power and what is behind that now is stronger and faster and better than a lot of laptops and computers that are out there at the moment overall thumbs up i absolutely love samsung dex if you haven't tried it please go and give it a go and um, i will put some links down in the description where you can pick up some of the um some of the little dongles and some of the leads and all that kind of stuff so go and uh, go and have a look go and try it yourself and of course let us know in the comments below because we always love to know what you think of the whole samsung dex experience and i tell you what i will definitely definitely be using it uh, but if you haven't seen more of our videos why not where have you been where have you been all this time uh, you can check out the videos that you will see on the next screen now and of course you can always get in contact with us through our social media channels you can find us on twitter facebook uh, linkedin we're on there as well uh, and of course you can support the channel and encourage us and help us to grow uh, by becoming one of our patreons and supporting us on patreon but thank you very much for watching and until next time i'll see you then bye bye for now